Mark is in the thick of the playoff picture in AAA football. The Demons dropped the season opener to Shanley and haven't lost since. The Magician's only loss was also handed to them by the Deacons. It's Thursday night football for the second week in a row for BHS. It's a battle of five and one teams and it's at the Community Bowl. Bismarck High's first drive was a ground and pound type of an effort capped off here by Preston Lemaire on a sweep. His second game back from a broken hand and the Demons extra points makes it a seven point lead. Might not would answer within two minutes though. Quick scores made things possible because of big plays. Check out Griffin Broderick just steamrolls the defense and gets into the end zone. The PAT was no good, though. Magi would force a punt and find themselves on fourth and one at their own 19. The quarterback sneak is short. Bismarck takes over on a short field. They change after the quarter and on fourth and goal from the 17. Quinn Hafner lops it up for Lemaire. He makes the grab. The two pointer is good and Bismarck has a lead of nine points. But three minutes before the half, fourth and one, it's Tyson Rosiska getting 20 of his 200 and I think 38 yards tonight and Minot prevails, but a close one. The final here was 26 to 23. Mandan had the surprise during the team competition at the West Region Tennis Tournament. The Braves beat top-seeded Legacy in the semifinals this afternoon to earn a place in the state tournament. Minot also won in the semis, setting up the Braves and Magicians for the region title today. Number one singles is where we go, and that's Minot's uh, Grayson uh, Schaefer. His forehand here a little bit too much for Carter Hatzenbuehler, and they're sending this one past him on that uh, near side, the forehand side. But Hatzenbuehler would... Uh, uh, won the first, uh, took game one of the first set. Here he comes back, and that's out of reach for Schaefer. Nice ground stroke there. Schaefer serving now. He would get the point, and Minot would get the close win. Three to two was your final in the championship. Legacy is also going to state after beating Jamestown, and the Patriots beat Bismarck to head to state as well. Three of the top four volleyball teams in the WDA are playing tonight in the capital city. One of them is a Bismarck versus Bismarck matchup. Second place century is at home. Fourth play, uh, place Sabres are the away team. This was a good one here. Atriana Backman serving for Century. The Sabres offense would set up Brooklyn Felkley as she puts a little heat behind that one. And it's an early lead for Legacy. Legacy uh, still in control at this point. The ball comes a little too close to the net. Then Felkley would pound on it and Legacy would prevail. The final here was 3-2, 15-11 in the fifth set. Well, the Demons are in third place in the league. Dickinson is sitting in fifth place, and Dickinson trying to recover from a six-point deficit. This is uh, Jasmine Berry climbing the ladder and powering that one home for her team, but still behind by five. This is in the second set. Midget's hoping to keep that offense going here as Delena uh, Amet uh, um, will go over to uh, get that block. But no, the Demons come back. And, um, and make that one. And then the Demons here go to Taylor Anderson to put this, uh, this set away. And Bismarck wins it 3 to nothing over Dickinson. Elsewhere in volleyball tonight, it was St. Mary's at home beating Minot. Drake Animus takes care of Washburn. It was Beulah over Hart River. Central McLean wins in McCluskey over Kidder County. Hedegar Scranton uh, drops Glenall in Hebron. It was Harvey Wells County over Nelson County this evening. EKM beats Linton HMB. Flasher in four over Shiloh. Hazen 3-1 over Center Stanton, New England in three straight beating Beach. College volleyball, it was BSC on the road beating Dakota County Tech. In high school football, a Winnebago of Nebraska beating Standing Rock tonight 51-8. And in swimming, up in Minot, uh, the uh, Majettes beat both the Sabres and the Demons. Well,